Um, so, uh, it's Tuesday. Um, I've got quite a lot to do today. I have someone coming to buy all of this. This? Where am I pointing? There. This hair um, and stuff because um, I'm no longer selling hair extensions. If you didn't know, I'm actually a hair extensionist. Um, I've been doing it for over 20 years. Um, I did venture into selling hair before the pandemic, but the the market's changed quite a lot and I do have quite a lot on my plate and I am queen of taking on too much so um, I'm selling that to another company and um, they're actually a hair merchant they sell some really 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 good quality hair so it'll do well there um, and then uh, I'm going to concentrate more on the cosmetic side and uh, teaching people um, which I enjoy and then I've got more time for so um, we're going to get ready for her visit um, and then I've got some other bits to do so uh, follow me around for the day um, and we'll see what I get to. So I'm giving her all of this, this is just random stuff um, like what we got, got pliers and weaving thread and tape for tape hair and stuff so she can have all of that. We're needing to be quite uh, ruthless in getting rid of stuff because we're moving later in the year and I mean you've seen what I work in so there's not much space for anything. Um, and then she's got some lovely training hair in there and then there's packets of hair in here which look a bit like, they look a bit like this. Um, so, ooh, you hear that? There's some dogs outside having a fight apparently. Um, so yeah this is the uh, hair that I'm selling pretty much. Um, it's really lovely quality. I've kept some for myself um, and I will continue to supply myself um, because I do still do clients. Um, and then massive box which I've actually double bagged so they don't fall everywhere of loads of micro rings that I don't use. Um, and then we've got some, um, these are some mats, uh, hair extension holder things. I've got some, I know you can't see any of this, there's a box of resin and some silicon mats. Um, I think I've pointed you out that before, that's my, um, I don't know if I'm selling that or not, that's my bonding machine. Um, it's quite useful for bonding hair extensions, um, so I might keep that, I'll see, I'll see if she makes a comment or not. Um, but that's it, so I'm going to get rid of all of that and then this area here will be another one of these shelves. And then that's where I'm going to keep all my new products that I'm making that hopefully I'll release a bit later in the year. So while I'm waiting for the hair to be collected, I'm going to get on with um, doing the formulation course that I'm making. Um, it's sort of a formulation for the beginners course, so it's good for people that want to make products at home like DIY or like if you want to make them for your own business. Um, so there's going to be lots of recipes in there, lots of easy to understand information, but it gives you like a good basis to get started with. Um, I've had so many requests for a course like this um, and I want to make it super affordable as well. So I'm making it as good as I can possibly make it and hope to release it probably in the next couple of months. So we'll see. Um, so I'm going to get on with that now. The other thing I want to do today, as well as um, probably testing out more wax melts, is decide on the packaging. So, do I do these lovely ASMR <laughs> crinkly uh, glassine bags? Because you can actually see through them all right. So, I actually quite like them and it's probably a bit more eco-friendly than having these. Um, because... <sighs> These are made from like recycled plastic um, and can be recycled, but at the end of the day, it's still plastic, isn't it? And if I can avoid that, I'd like to avoid that. I mean, they do look quite nice in it. Um, and obviously you can pour directly into the mold, which is handy. Um, but I don't know. I quite like that. I think that's quite neat. And also from a sort of packaging point of view for ASMR, 
people, I know it says sugar scrub, I'm just testing old labels. Um, it's, it's quite like, it's nice and tactile, isn't it? So I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments, which should I do? Might as well test one since I've got them out. Um, so let's do a bit of a time lapse. There we go, all gone. She took the lot. Uh, this is good because I can now recommend her to my customers and also to my trainees. Um, they're a really, really good company, so I'm glad it went to her. Um, so yeah, one job done for today. So it's actually the next day now. I got a bit stuck with admin and that was a bit boring to film. So I didn't bother with the vlog yesterday. So uh, we're now the next day. Um, but I did get an email from Shopify and if you look there, um, I've managed to get it working, so, um, yeah. Anyway, um, I've not had a chance to make anything today, but what I do want to test are these products, because I get asked a lot on um, Patreon and just via DM um, whether people can buy products from China and get them white label. And the answer is yes, but <laughs> it's not necessarily a good idea. Um, I'd suggest going and watching the documentary Broken on Netflix. I think it's the first episode about makeup. Um, watch that because uh, there's a lot of insight in that. Um, basically, there are factories that are very good. Um, this, I think, is one of them, but not all of them are. So for this reason, what I've done is get some samples from one of the factories that is supposedly very good. Um, and I'm going to do some microbio tests uh, to test for bacteria and mold present. Because no matter where your manufacturer is located, you as the responsible person are responsible for the hygiene and cleanliness of your product. Um, so it's a good idea to test wherever you are working with if you do want to go the white label route. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm using my dip slides. Um, I'll link the company I got these from. They uh, they kindly gave a uh, first time purchase discount and that will be down below as well. I've also done a whole video on how to use this. If you want to watch that, I'll link that down below as well. Um, basically, all you do is take a small amount of your product and wipe it on either side of the dip slide. Uh, these are CRBS dip slides. Um, and you just do a very, very small amount. Use a different swab for each side. Um, and then if any bacteria or mold is gonna grow, you'll see the bacteria within about 24 to 48 hours and the mold within 120. Um, so we're gonna do this now and label them and then we'll see what happens to them a bit later on. I'm testing both bullet and liquid lipstick because these seem to be the popular items that uh, people want to test. Um, sadly, they're both red <laughs> and the bacteria side of these dip slides has uh, a red dye. Um, so that's why you need to do a really fine layer so that you can actually see that through and we're not covering up um, the very thing that we want to see if there is any. Ideally, we won't see anything. Um, but we will wait and see. Um, if you wanted to do eyeshadow palettes, you'd do it exactly the same way. Um, just use a hygienic swab um, to take some of the shadow product and then swipe it on either side. Just make sure you're using a different swab for each side of the CRBS dip slide because um, you can transfer from one side to the other and you don't want to do that. Um, I've explained more in the other video that I've linked below. If these come up clear, then I would consider working with that factory, but I'd also want all of their documentation for their products um, and to know their processes. Um, and I'd possibly even challenge test them 
even if they weren't uh, containing water, just to be sure, because this is your customer's safety and also your business reputation. Um, so don't just be swayed on price uh, when you see these manufacturers offering all this stuff in your branding. Um, do consider um, the health and the hygiene of it and um, be thorough with your testing before you start working with them. We'll check on those tomorrow. Um, I'll include it in the next vlog for now. I'm gonna go and get some dinner and end the vlog there. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want to keep up with what I'm doing day to day, then please do go and follow me on Instagram. Um, I post there at least once a day um, and I'll have another formula for you on Sunday.